Hello, I'm John Joe. Welcome to Lime War. This is part of the tournament matches. So this is Group D trying to progress into the final stage of the tournament. Uh, I'm not 100% sure how the tournaments work, to be honest, not with the grouping section anyway. But we have right now Dasib Naren, who is starting in the bottom section of the map here. He's got his infantry moving up to this section. He's probably predicting that just an addict has started right here where he has. So Justin Addict is going for some boats. I'm in times two at the minute. I will slow it down when the engagements start. And the boats are coming down this way. It looks like he's trying to get some set up. So he's going to cross the water as well, predicting where Dasib Naren started. I'm going to call him Daz for now. The boat hasn't produced yet. He's also crossed the water, I've just noticed. So he's crossed already. So he's going to be able to get this city right in the back over here with some energy that's relatively safe. So I'm going to turn off the Fog of War, and we'll see both commands so we can see what everyone is doing. So Daz is sending quite a few of his units up this way, probably knowing the engagement's going to happen. Uh, we've got a blue line coming up. Ah, that's an air, so that's an interceptor. So he's got an airfield straight away. He doesn't have any energy to run this yet. But this interceptor is going to provide some visibility for Daz over in this section. Let's see what he sees. So we can't see too much yet. He doesn't see the boat yet, but he does see some factories. He knows exactly where the enemy is. He knows a lot of it's going this way. So he might already know that those units are heading that way. He can see the energy well as well. And without any energy based units, he might be able to predict that he's got some boats. But I don't know. It doesn't look like he's responding to this area, so He's probably happy he's found the enemy, but that does mean that just an addict might go into some anti-air a bit more because he's seen the air units. Now it looks like we've got some commandos coming out because we've got the transport jet. And this is setting up the commandos now, so they're going to try and cross the water as soon as they can. And they might be able to drop down on some of these structures. As just an addict is going in for some aggressive moves to start with, he's going to leave his base a bit vulnerable. We've already got one commando out. We need two commandos to be able to send this jet across. And Daz is setting up some defense in this section. And Justin Addict's got a line set to heavily push through this section as well. So they probably can see each other in there. And now these guys have crossed the water. The fact that they're taking over this territory will probably reveal to Daz that they're here if he spots it. Let's have a quick look from his perspective. He can see it, so they're already here. If he just went straight on the offensive now, instead of trying to capture territories, he's probably just trying to build units for now. But if he just went straight in to try and get this airfield, but he probably can't see it. That's fair. He can't see the airfield yet, so he doesn't know what's around. So he's just building up his numbers, and he's going to try and push through. He can see some units coming over this way, so that's why he's sending them across there. And Daz decides to bring his units back into this section here instead of continuing to expand. Which I don't know if that would be the wisest to treat. I think I might just continue having some expand, maybe split them in half. Get some to come back and get the others to continue. But he definitely has a stronger defense here for now. And it's slightly curved, which will help ever so slightly. But over here, the attack is beginning, and they're not stopping transporting. They're still bringing over some units. This interceptor is going to do anything it can to try and help in this battle. And to be fair, that's not a bad idea. Any damage is good damage right now. But the transport jet is also off, so where is that heading off to? I actually can't see where it's going. But he has picked up the commandos, so he's heading off this way. Ah, there we go. He's got the command over here. He's going to take this island with him. I actually thought he was going to go on the offensive with him. But he's going to try and expand and have a good control over the map. And because these are mountains, all the artillery in defense now are going to be able to take or give a lot more damage. Because as they slowly move over the mountains, it's going to take them longer to reach these targets. 
not only is it good for the artillery, but it's also going to be helpful with the air units when they start trying to do their bombing runs. But just an addict realizes this attack is not going to hold up for long. And he's not going to keep bringing reinforce reinforcements in there. So he's sending some units around to the side to take out there as well. And that's another command from Daz. But yeah, Daz has good control over these mountains. He's using them to his advantage. And he's able to hold this location. On this side of it, though, we've got one artillery strain off probably a little too far. Uh, just as Addicts is going for this artillery, he probably will be able to take it out. It might be beneficial to turn, turn this into a circle command just for now. But the bombers look like they're going to go that way instead for now. And try and help out in that section for a bit. But this commando over here, should be two, yeah there's one there. They're going to start taking over that island as well. So this is... There's been quite a few engagements already, and it looks like Daz already knows that something's happening over here, so he's sending some units across to try and sort those out. And we do have a stray SAM unit over here, so Daz is going to probably take that out as he gets some units to move across. But it looks like a lot of units are going to come back, but I don't know if that's just an addict's command. So he's bringing some Navy units over this way, which is going to help defend this choke point. As well as capture this energy well for them. And it looks like he's decided against these transports moving anymore. So he's bringing them back a little. And Just Addict is also not actually engaging in this area. He's actually trying to bring his units around and capture the territories. But where is he sending these boats to now? He's going to bring them up this way. Might be going for this island over here. Over here, the bomber is trying to go for the navy units. I think it just dropped one and missed. But it will survive. Over here, the SAM is on the run. Just an addict is trying to save absolutely every unit that it can and cause as much havoc with anything that it can do. But over here, it looks like these guys have been caught out and I don't know if they're going to be able to hold off against these few units. It might be wise to just try and set them on a blue command and try and capture from the other end. Which is actually what he's doing. <laughs> so these SAM units are going to group together over here. But this infantry guy is on the run trying to save himself though. We'll check back on there just to see if he survives but I'm pretty sure he won't. And Daz is bringing some more commanders in over here to try and capture the land faster, which is going to be needed, to be fair, because there's going to be quite a few lands, quite a few territories to go through on this bit. But Daz is actually pushing forward now. The ships are interfering. So the infantry are having to deal with that, but I think Justin Addict is moving his units back a little. He's got quite a few units gr grouped up here. And the bombers are moving in to try and take them out, but some Sam there did stop them. One does go down. The other one might as well, from the Sam still remaining in this area. Does get fired upon, and yeah, it goes down. It hits the side of the factory there. Which is why it's very important to try and keep your units alive, even if you don't think they're worth it there. But these units are going to start threatening this energy well if... Just an addict is not careful in this match. But he's also going for some bombers. I think he's waiting for them to build up in numbers before actually using them, though. And this time unit survives just long enough for reinforcements to arrive. And we have another Sam unit moving in this way. Literally going to cross paths over these guys, though, so I don't think he's going to survive much longer. And this one infantry unit there is taking on some artillery. But hey, that one unit did survive. That guy is a lone survivor, surviving at the back of that landmass there. Doing everything that he can. And Daz is feeling quite confident. He's actually ecoing up a little. But both players have been hindered in this match. They've been focused more on attacking each other than they actually have with expanding across the map. 
And it's because of that they're both actually slowing down in this match. But Daz's units are coming off the mountains, which might be removing his defensive bonus, but because they're all being dropped off in one location, he's actually getting a first fire bonus. Well, not bonus, but like, you know what I mean. He's getting an attack in before they can actually attack back, so... These Sam units are forced to actually move past the front lines just to get away because they're being trapped in there. I don't think this unit's going to survive very long on his own. He needed to go back a lot further because it's going to take him longer to capture than these guys and eventually they're going to catch up to him. And the Sam unit there almost taken out another transport boat. It looks like Daz is going for another island over here. And I just noticed he's doing these line commands, very short line commands, because once they drop him off, the commando can carry on walking. But if he did a circle command, which is how I usually do it, I've been trying to get out of that, and they just stand there with the circle. So if you do that little quick arrow, it actually makes it much more effective so that they can carry on doing their own thing. Over here, it looks like Daz was pushed back, but now Daz is pushing once again with some more artillery. And with the amount he's got there, being reinforced with some more. Daz is actually becoming a bit of a threat there, but these air units are probably going to come into play defending that energy well. I'm going to have a quick look at their economy. So just an addict has 590 per minute. Whereas Daz has 666. It's a bit of a scary number. And let's have a look. Yeah, so he couldn't actually capture this territory before these three units moved in. Which means, well, luckily he caught it, actually, because I was going to think that he was going to try and fight them. But because he's in the territory, the blue units can't capture the territory either. So they're forced to go closer to him. Hopefully he might get away. And then they'll be able to capture the territory and be held back. So it looks like he is going to bring it all the way back to the end now. But I'm just pointing out that just an addict was able to spot that and sort that out very quickly. And considering he's just a single unit, that is a lot of management to try and keep control over. Not a single unit, but the stuff he's got to do all over the map. Focusing on the engagements going on here, the push going on up here, the... Navy that's trying to move with the transports that are trying to poke holes at the enemy. But as we can see, Daz is gaining a lot of eco structures going. So that's going to try and push his economy up a bit faster than just an addict who is actually colonizing another island. I don't know if you call it colonizing on this game, but yes. <laughs> He's invading another island and they are capturing some more land for him. Now that's got energy wells on it, but they are a bit contested there but that is a good city to grab if he can unfortunately he's bringing his units into an area infested with helicopters and those guys are going to tear up these boats and stuff but he is bringing his uh, anti-air in and helicopters are fairly weak against uh, anti-air they do go down pretty fast luckily for Daz none of them actually got taken out and these artillery are growing in numbers as they are left to grab these territories. The bombers are on the move now, so this... I don't think just an addict has used these yet against Daz. So this could be a bit of a surprise attack. I don't think Daz really has anything he can do against air units right now. There, he's got a few Sam here and he's going to have to move them back here, which he's noticed and sorted out already. But I think these bombers are going to do the damage they need before those sand become a problem. I could be wrong. I mean, they are a bit random with their targets. But they're hitting the energy and some eco, so that is going to be a problem for Daz if they get through that. And yeah, that infantry guy has moved right to the back here. He could set up a property base to start pushing this way as well. The artillery here are taking on just an addict's energy well, and that is his only energy well, so this is probably the best way he can tackle this air unit attack. 
So if we just zoom out a little bit, they do take out the eco. And that is Daz's only energy well as well. So they're both fighting for each other's energy wells. But the Sam are moving in now and they will be able to cut the escape roof off for these air units. There you go, the energy goes down, which means Justin Addict has to retreat these air units. And Daz keeps his energy well up and running. One of those bombers do go into the water, unfortunately. But now Justin Addict is sending some units in this way. Unfortunately, they're in single file, but he is formating, uh, putting them in a formation. Which is good. I was worried about that for a minute then. And I have just noticed this. We've got some commandos sneaking around on just some addicts island. They're using the blue commands to stop the territories from being grabbed because that would give away their location. But he's kept this line up as well, so they're going to continue doing that. And we have another navy yard over here which is sending a boat towards these commandos to get them across this water here. And the artillery have been transported across the water here to try and stop the reinforcements coming in. But to be fair, there's quite a lot of units here as well. There we go. Sent them to an orange command to push forward so that they'll still attack as they move. And we've got some helicopters coming in probably to back up Daz. Oh no, he's switched it to bombers. So that was just an addict's command and the bombers are going to come over and try and take out these artillery. Not sure how well the bombers will do against the artillery, but as they're being attacked as well, they're, they're going to slow down enough for these bombers to do far too much damage for the artillery to get to these airfields. But there will be another attack coming soon by the looks of it. Now that transport jet is on the run again, but now Daz is building up some former navy as well. And Justin Addict is still trying to claim this territory here. He hasn't quite got it yet, but these units are getting terribly close to it. This time, however, though, the commandos are not really going to get through here unless they're really good at sneaking around these units. It looks like Justin Addict was about to move these units out of the way. At just the wrong time, but luckily he notices and was able to get them back into place. And I've just spotted that Justin Addict's on this island as Daz is bringing his units across here. So they will end up engaging on that side of it as well. But no, those commandos are not going to get through there this time. And they get surrounded by infantry and get taken out. But it is important to note that his other two commandos are over here attacking this building here. Try and keep an eye on that in the corner of the screen as I have a look at the other side of the match. But there we go. He does have this territory here. And if Justin Addict notices this, he could probably save it from these units coming through now. He wouldn't need too much. Just get a couple of barracks set up so that he could push for a little bit. And Justin Addict, that beeping sound is the energy coming out. As Justin Addict is running low on energy. But he does have these places here. He could start trying to capture them. Was that a rocket? Yes. I heard the sound of a rocket. I think Justin Addict is getting a bit fed up with the games with Daz. He's trying to end it with one big bang. And over here, it looks like two transport boats are going to cut, uh, come across in contact with each other. Those bombers went over to save the town. Unfortunately, they didn't manage to save the town, but it looks like they cleared up the commandos. But now Justin Addicts is building up their economy through this plots over there. How is Daz doing for that? Because he was building it. He's doing pretty well, actually. He's already got a town being built here. And he's got quite a few industries set up. I think he'll be able to turn this into a city straight away. And he does have the ability to build another one here. And these commandos are spreading out across the little island, on, well, big island on this section. 
but is about to start losing this island. There's nothing there to defend it anymore. We'll have a quick look at the economy. So just an addict has 720 right now, whereas Daz has 1,100. So Daz is way ahead in the economy. But he's going to lose some of his potential to keep that economy if he doesn't try and sort out this island. The bombers have been called into this section and there is absolutely no anti-air. So they will be left vulnerable while attacking this army against these bombers. These transport boats are moving out as well. It looks like they're going in for another attack from the side. And although I think these bombers are really good at weakening an army before you attack it. So this is them being used in their perfect scenario, to be honest. They are definitely meant to be used against structures, but when you've got such an army coming towards you, you can weaken the majority of the units before they actually hit your army. But we have some units, uh, some navy units coming in from the side here, which is anti-air and some artillery, which will be able to fire in in this section. But Daz is now running out of energy. It looks like they've both only committed to having one energy well until recently that just now they got this one as well. And although they've got a rocket here, they're going to need 20 energy just to fire it. And they've got three by the looks of it. So just an addict is winning in the getting enough energy race. Because he seems to have 60 points. So I can only see two energy wells though, unless I'm being completely blind. And it doesn't look like they set up a proxy on this section. It looks like the enemy just took it out in the end. But over here, this army has been diminished over time. And the bombers are even able to take on the navy units. And because they've got black smoke, they're actually taking more damage. Because they're out of energy. Which is also leaving this cruiser quite vulnerable. So Daz does still have that energy well. He's got two now as well. Oh, that's me saying about having three. I keep thinking they produce... They uh, store 20. They store 30. But I keep getting confused with that. I think it's because the rocket costs 20. So no, they've definitely only got two each. But they certainly have the potential to grab more. But it's just all in contested zones. I mean, this one... You could build on it, but the, art oh, the artillery can't reach it, but... The bombers can. And then there's these two here, which even though they're kind of the opposite sides, they can still be reached. And Al uh, and Daz has noticed the red territory here and is setting up some structures straight away to try and help with that. And I think they're even sending some helicopters over. Yep. So it looks like the helicopters were sent to this island to try and stop the territory grab that was going on there. And we've got these infantry units being pulled back over to this island again. And Daz is increasing their energy output. They got 90 now in storage. And that means three energy wells. I think just an addict really needs to get on some extra energy. He's got a lot of bombers here that can do a lot of damage really fast. But he won't be able to keep them in the air for long. We've got the helicopters moving over to this island here. And the commandos are chasing away the infantry here. And they don't have any production over here, so they just they have their infantry and they're gonna build up what they've got. But they haven't got any structures there just yet. But they're holding on what they got. So they got this front here, but they've also tried to open up a new one with these transport boats coming across. And any air units that take off are gonna get hit hard by these units here, which is unfortunate for this airfield right now.
And it looks like the bombers are being sent in from... Oh, with the rockets. So the rockets coming in first, the bombers are coming in after. Unfortunately, it looks like Daz is going to lose this area. And there's the rocket. There isn't going to be much left to defend this, but there is the bombers here. I mean, I don't know if it's worth taking out, taking off right now. But it looks like Daz is trying to clear out this group of units before taking them off, or at least distracting them as they take off. And he's bringing back some units from this section. As both groups of bombers are trying to buy anything they can find. But that was a very well placed rocket. It took out the airfield and some structures. And the bombers are going to clear up the rest. And the SAM are moving into this section as well. So they are going to try and deal with these bombers. But I don't know if there's enough SAM here. I think these SAM are going to get jumped on pretty quickly. Over here, though, Daz knows he needs to make some changes, and he's pushing forward with this army over here. And to be fair, it is a vulnerable spot, so this could be quite successful as well. And all these units are still straying into this section. I think he needs to divert a few this way. Otherwise, this is going to be a struggle for, for a battle. But I think what his objective is, is he could potentially lose this land if he takes over Daz's land. Over here we have two cruisers fighting, but I think Red is going to win that one. There we go. But they did manage to take out the cluster of units that were just there, so that's still kind of a win for Daz. But unfortunately, I just don't think Daz has anything he can use against this army right now. He's going to have to lose quite a bit more territory, but he is sending up way far back. Which is a good thing, because they'll be in, produ in production, able to try and build it up before they have to push back. And does have a does does have a navy over here, and he's going to go over and try and grab some extra territories. Over at the top of the map, it looks like Daz is actually really pushing against this factory. We've only built one factory here, though, and there is helicopters that are going to come over and decide that that doesn't want to be there anymore. And despite Daz's army pushing through in the north over here, these bombers are going to take them out once again because there is very little anti-air in the area. There's some boats over here, but the way these are moving downward, despite being on a circle command, they're just not in range of these ships. But Daz is pulling them back, trying to make sure they can get in range. Whereas just an addict is pushing over these mountains. Which again is a great position for Daz to hold, so these units are going to get more than their money's worth. And luckily for Daz, this navy yard stays up and running. So it's still able to produce some more navy units. Up in the north though, unfortunately for Daz, he wasn't able to destroy the energy well. I think he was hoping that that was the last energy well he had, like last time. But unfortunately, that wouldn't have mattered too much this time. And we have a power plant in the back here now, so that factory is gone. These helicopters are going to target this power plant. I may have missed that last time, because that is already constructed. But either way, there is another rocket left over. And I think he's waiting to find the right time to use it. It looks like Daz is winning in the north as well. He seems to not be able to get past this section of the island. But unfortunately, Daz is going to lose this factory. He's aware of that and he's he's accepted it. And he's just set his line up here. And he'll use the factory to slow down the enemy. Let's have a look from the top view because the territories are spread out quite a bit. And you can see why Daz has the biggest economy. Power plant does go down over there. So at this point, Justin Addict is on just under 800. And Daz has nearly double the economy 
but it's still losing on the ground because the amount of horses it needs to start producing and building up. But that factory is going to take not very long to go down. And the bombers are moving into this section of the map, which again, Daz doesn't seem to have much anti-air. And he's got one Sam. Oh no, I was mistaken, there's some here. That is pretty good placement hidden in the forest, but they are going to get attacked first. And that does take one of them out. And there we go, we've got another one coming in now. As these bombers pretty much try and take on everything that they can see. And he deletes the command. See, and this is why I quite like strikers still. I know the bombers have been buffed and a lot of people like them. But if I had strikers, I don't think they'd be in range, to be honest. But I could still just place a circle command near it and they'd still target it, just like bo uh, the bombers do. But I like strikers because they can literally strike the target. And they can get in there, destroy it and get out. Even if there's Sam in the area, you still have a good chance of getting out there. So just an addict is sending some units this way. Which you find to be honest, you need to take the artillery off. So just send some infantry this way. Keep the main army pushing forward. Artillery are really good at taking on units, but they're not very good at taking on territories. Got some interesting plays coming in from Daz right now. So he's bringing his navy in to grab this territory, but as he does so, he is quite possibly going to spot these units here. Or structures here, and he's going to be able to take out this town definitely. This F port, I'm pretty sure. This one, I'm not so sure. Because does he have cruisers? He does have cruisers, so yeah, they're going to be able to get some good range on them over there. Right, now Daz has expanded his efforts in building up some more production. He's got quite a few going on here. He's got another town set up. And his navy is moving into this top section of the map as well. He may even see this rocket again. And now we know the rocket can hit in this area. So at least it has sort of this range. So it can definitely get to this forest. It can probably go a bit further to be honest. Yeah, as the navy moves in, you can see that the bombers have taken off to try and take them out. It doesn't look like there's many bombers left, unless they've gone off somewhere that I can't see. I don't know. The navy yard has been found and is being taken out. There isn't really much he can do about this. But as Daz's as units move into this section, they're going to try and fill up this foresty area. And he's trying to make the perfect curve so that when they come through, they're being shot at from multiple angles. I just don't think he's got the artillery to be too worried about that right now. But it is going to change it as he adds some up in this section. Over here, it looks like Daz has set a target on it. And that was for his C units as they went by, but I don't think they took to it. But they are going to go for this one, and they definitely can shoot that one. Slowly but surely, it looks like just an addict is pushing further through. But I think Daz's defense is actually increasing over time. And I think Justin Addict realises this, so he's setting up a line to pull back on and save those units so he can build up for later and try and push again. But after that attack, that's definitely benefited Justin Addict, but Daz did take over this top island as well. So let's have a quick look at the economy. I like what I like looking at the economy a lot when it comes to these types of players. So we got 1,500 from Daz and 700. So actually he's lost eco. And that rocket is now on the move. I imagine it's probably going to hit there, maybe. Or it's going for the energy well, I think. And Daz tried to bring out his navy over in this section, but unfortunately it was blocked. 
And yet we should definitely be going for that energy well. So his reinforcements came in and took out this energy well over in the top with the strike command that was on it. And it looks like we've got an invasion coming in from the north, going straight for the main base of just an addict. There isn't a lot he can do about this attack, but if Daz was able to speed this process up, that would be much more effective, but he's going to struggle with that as well. And he can't even put it in haste mode because of his energy levels, which are already decreasing really fast. So unfortunately for Daz, this attack isn't going to be too successful if just an addict responds to it. But if he does leave them roaming, they might be able to do some damage to the silo. I think the air units are going to take him out before that becomes a problem though. So Daz is completely out of energy. These units are right here, able to help, but they just can't. Just can't get there yet. Over in this section, just an addict is going in for an attack against Daz again. And their units are in the forest, giving them a bonus with infantry for whoever's in there. Over in this section, the Navy are being harassed by the bombers. It looked like Daz was on a winning course over in this section but unfortunately his energy just gave up on him and his units are pretty much getting destroyed one by one i can imagine he's found some other energy potential though he's got quite a lot of eco so yeah he's got one there and two energy wells there there we go i was wondering why it wasn't updated there so he should be able to hold on his energy a lot better now But unfortunately, he's had to stop his reinforcements coming down here because they just weren't being able to defend, I think, or he just wanted to focus on defense. And now the Navy has pretty much taken out some of these air units, so they've survived at least. But more are coming in for another run on this area. And there we go. It looks like he took out quite a few of these bombers. But I don't know who's going to take this whole thing. I think the artillery are doing a lot of damage on the Navy as well. So I think that just an addict is doing extremely well in that defensive section. And unfortunately couldn't break the defense of Daz in this section here. So he's retreated back into the mountains. And he's got a fairly sizable Sam ring there. And Red has nearly reclaimed their original outpost section there. The artillery are shooting down those infantry as they land. And now Daz has taken on the airfield there. We've got the infantry trying to move in there, but they've been stuck by a town, to be fair. <laughs> but they're going to do their best to take that out before they get killed. I think they will be successful, especially backed up by the artillery. They might even be able to take out the next airfield. Which will be unfortunate for just an addict. There's a lot of money in the airfields, because when the airfields go down, if there's nowhere for the air unit to go, they do just blow up out the sky. There isn't too much else going on, but it's just a shame that he's got so far to travel. The rocket is off again. I didn't even know that was built yet. It's under a lot of pressure. I think he wanted to send that out as soon as he could. It's going back for this area, which is going to hit this army. Which is not a bad place to put it at this point when he really wants to push through. Fortunately for him, though, the army did move, but there is still units there. And there we go, he took out quite a few units, which means he can now push himself. Uh, 
And in this section, it looks like his units are being dropped off and then killed before they can really do much. But maybe they're breaking through slowly. But the cruisers are definitely able to do their extra damage. They can fire over this section and destroy these units before their units land. Down in this section though, Justin Addict did break the defense there, but unfortunately for him, Daz does have a larger force of units coming into this section here. Even has some SAM units hiding in the forest over there. Now these units have come in, there isn't enough there on the ground to try and take these out, but he does have quite a few still come, especially how, with how long it takes the transports to cross the ocean. Might have even been worth to try and get them across here. But Daz has another plan. He's built a navy for, uh, fleet there. A navy yard. Which is probably going to be producing transports and they're going straight across over in this section. And I didn't notice this, but the commanders... He's got a commando army here. He must have managed to get one. Yeah, there you go. I can see it now. Commanders have gone across here to land here and they've built at the back of the base, just an addict hasn't spotted this yet. Down in this section, though, just an addict is being forced to retreat once again. The only way he's going to be able to keep up with this is if he fires another rocket. Which, as time goes on, it looks like it's getting harder and harder for him to do so. And Daz is actually becoming a bit too strong of an opponent. With the transport boat trying to find another way out and they've got the units individually on they're trying to get to another island it starts to engage with the other transport boats over here it looks like they're going to lose their last navy yard i think and after that they're going straight for the energy while that's over here Down here now, though, it looks like Daz is back on the push, going to reclaim his old land. So for all this game, he's been pushed against. And now, he's able to push back once more. Most of these units are just Sam there, though. There you go, and unfortunately, I don't think Justin Addict wants to risk any more units. He's still trying to retreat those down there. But in this section of the map, he's still trying to bring in some larger ships to give in, like, shower the ground over here. Potentially giving some breathing room for his transports to get to. He has switched, though. He's put his transport line here, which will give them a lot of breathing room, because they've got more room to get into this area. But he does have the energy bar and some SAMs there. Which I think he can destroy pretty easily. Yeah, the rocket is on the move again. It's just going to hit the army, I think. It's going to hit probably around this area. Maybe it's not. I didn't see how many sand were in the mountains there. They've got loads of sand there. And it looks like they were able to take out the mountains before... Uh, take out the rocket before it became too much of a problem. Anyway... I'm pretty sure that Justin Addict waved the white flag, giving Daz the game. Yep, there we go. So Daz has won the game. We can see the economy boom he took on here. So there must have been some form of engagement which Justin Addict lost. Which gave Daz the ability to apply some economy, like invest some economy into his future eco. And that just allowed him to boom. It looked like he lost some things here and then it just exploded. Anyway, thank you for watching. Feel free to check out any videos on screen right now, and I'll see you there.